guys, what's up? So basically, I wanted to say I'm so sorry for not uploading last Thursday, I know. Um, basically, I knew my family was going to be in town, so I wasn't going to have a place to film. As you can see, this bed is down. My room was occupied with people and suitcases and stuff, so I kind of knew I wasn't going to be able to film. And so I was like, I'm going to do a vlog because we went to Mexico. So I filmed the whole time we were in Mexico. And something, me and my brother had our phones plugged into my computer at the same time to charge and something happened and literally every single video is gone. Like I looked everywhere for it on my computer and I couldn't find it. So basically that's my excuse as to why I didn't upload last Thursday. But today I have a really exciting video. I was in Mexico and I don't know why this just occurred to me because I go to Mexico all the time. There was a ton of Mexican candy in the grocery store so I was like, why don't I just buy some now and do one of these candy videos that are just like so popular right now. I did the trying Japanese Kit Kats and now I'm going to be trying Mexican candy from Mexico. I don't know if it's all actually like Mexican candy or not but it was in the stores and it's in Spanish so we're gonna go with it and pretend that it is Mexican candy even if it's not. And I'm pretty much terrified to try almost every single one of these so yeah we'll start out with this one because this one is extremely weird and I have no idea what it is. I saw it because, I don't know, this is just a very obnoxious candy wrapper and it has a ton of different things in here, so I'm not going to try them all, I'm just going to try a couple of them, but I was drawn to this because of what it looks like on the outside. So it comes with like Choco Ritas, which I'm assuming are just little balls of chocolate, like six slits, I think that's what they're called. So there's that, there's... I'll try these. These look interesting. They're called Cranky, and there's a K on it, and they kind of look like Frosted Flakes covered in chocolate. I don't really know. They taste like cereal. Yeah, they literally just taste like Cocoa Puffs. Nothing too special, just pretty crunchy chocolate, you know? Now this is, I don't know how to pronounce that. And it looks like this, and I'm assuming that it's probably just chocolate wafer. Yeah, more wafery than anything, but nothing special. I want to get a weird one. Oh. There's some fruit snacks in here. I'm not gonna try fruit snacks. I'll try this. This is weird. Oh my goodness. It's called, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Looks like that. And they're just like the tiniest red beads. Like, what? They look, and they're hard. They're not like soft or chewy. I wish I could show you. There, that's what they look like. And I'm so confused by this candy. This is so weird. Okay, first of all, they're like too tiny to get a taste. Like, with just putting one in your mouth, I'm going to put like four. I can't decide what they taste like because they're so small. But like the second you bite them, they dissolve. It's so weird. What the heck? Yeah, I couldn't tell you the flavor of these, but this is extremely weird. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding you, they dissolve the second you bite them. I want to make sure that's good enough. Let's see what else this fun little bag has. Boo Boo Loo Boo Mini. Looks like this. This is a really cool little thing. You get a lot of small little snacks. These would be like good birthday party favorite things. So this looks like it might be just marshmallow and strawberry. I'm not one for like fruity things. Mm -mm. What the heck? No. No. Just no. So then I will show you guys this. I already took it out of the wrapper because it's like wrapped like three things. But this is called, this is from Kinder. So I'm assuming this isn't just a Mexican candy because I know Kinder is popular in a lot of places. 
but it says bueno, so I was like, hey. And I believe this is hazelnut, and it has milk, so I don't know if this is something that you would maybe just milk chocolate and hazelnut, I don't know, or if the milk means that you should dip them. But as you can tell, mine is, the stick is kind of melted, and how you open it, there's like the little tab that you pull, and then it comes, and then it has little squares, so I'll just break one off, and... This is really good. So it just has like a hazel nut filling in it. Yeah, I like it. This is something I'd probably buy if they had it in America. Uh, we have a lot of like caramel filled things and peanut butter things, but you don't really see too much hazelnut. And it's very light. And airy like the actual like wafer and the chocolate and then the hazelnuts kind of heavy but it's kind of cool so this is called I don't know but it says con something D chocolate so this scares the crap out of me looking at it that's what the top of it looks like this is in a different section of candy so it, <clears throat> woo. this is in a different section this is like not even near the candy or cookie aisle. This was like in the meat aisle and like the beer and like the fridge area, with like yogurt and stuff. So it they're kind of squishy and there's some sugar on them and they're tan and I will, oh, I'm really scared to try this. Um, no. I shouldn't have just put that in my mouth. At first it reminds me of like churro dough. Mm -mm. <sighs> no. I don't taste chocolate with these at all. The first like bite, you're like, oh, this kind of tastes like churro dough. I mean, maybe it is, and I'm just clueless. Um, I wish it said. Yeah, I don't know, but this is terrible. In my opinion. No. Oh, no. No. No, no. So the next thing is called Shots, and I have had one of these already because I couldn't resist. And they had a bunch of different flavors. This one is Mocha and Cappuccino. I believe. And these remind me a lot of malt, malt, or whoppers. Right? Is that what they're called? I don't know. I haven't had them in so long. I think they're whoppers. So, just little ball, <laughs> little, um, and taste straight up like coffee. I don't know how I feel about it as a candy. It's not terrible. Not good. Uh, it's pretty much just milk chocolate with the like crunchy thing inside and that has such a potent coffee taste like Wow, I wonder if there's caffeine in these to be a hundred percent honest cuz tastes like it And lastly this I have seen people try on YouTube I am terrified to try it or I haven't actually watched the videos, but I've seen like the captions so it's called sponge and it looks like that, and it's huge, and it kind of just looks like a cookie that has some pink and white marshmallow with coconut and some jelly thing on the top. I'm not really sure. I've just seen a ton of people talk about it. So I was like, saw it there, and I was like, ooh, I want to try this, because apparently it's something worth trying. And it comes with a bunch of them. Thank gosh, I thought these were going to be a lot bigger than they are. So what they look like, pretty much the same as the package, and then the back of the cookie says sponge hope that's how you say it so I'm just gonna um I don't really know how I feel about this at all the cookie is extremely soft I expected it to be crunchy but like it's extremely soft so that's cool it's just kind of a weird combination Mm. 
not gonna say I like it because I don't think I do but it's probably in the top like three things I mean granted I only had like five if you count all the minis this is probably like top three it's definitely an interesting taste it's not bad I just wouldn't buy it or like pick it up if it was like at a party or something like finger food I wouldn't try this I wouldn't like choose to eat it but it was interesting to try I'm glad I did it so yeah basically I could never live in Mexico because I don't really like these candies and candy is a very important part of everyday life you know but there was some really good things this was hands down my favorite thing and this was probably the worst so yeah that is basically it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed I really enjoy doing these videos. I think they're really fun. Let me know if you guys do too. And I will see you guys next week. Thumbs up this video if you haven't already. And don't forget to subscribe because it makes me so happy. And thank you guys so much for watching and for your support. And I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.